This program brought to you by the Laugh Garage Comedy Club and the all new Vectron Fart, the world's first 100% fuel free car. Wow! Man, you guys are much better than last week's crowd. <laughs> I've just celebrated my 30th birthday. <laughs> Ten or so years ago. <laughs> but it's weird as you get old, you know, you get older, you, you start to, you know, wipe your life. And there's always that one thing where you think you're not going to turn into your parents, but you do. <laughs> I'm starting to do things my dad used to do, right, when I was a kid, like fall asleep in the middle of the day. <laughs> I used to be a kid and look at him and go, how can I fall asleep in the middle of the day? It's insane, but I'm doing it now, right? Which, uh, which is not good, because I drive buses. <laughs> of course, I don't drive buses. But um, I'm here doing this show <laughs> in front of all of you people. <laughs> and you. But now I'm starting to, starting to do, like I said, fall asleep in the middle of the day, right? Now I'm doing it, and, and it's not good. The three things used to wake up my dad when he fell asleep, right? Number one, turning the channel over on the TV. Yeah, he'd be fast asleep as a kid. You turn the telly over, first thing he'd do, oh, I was watching that. <laughs> Second thing that used to wake him up, a wicket in the cricket. Oh, yeah. He'd be asleep. How's that? Who's out? <laughs> And the other thing that wakes him up, which wakes me up, and a lot of you people, and it's scary when you're by yourself, yeah? His own snoring. Because <laughs> you don't know you've fallen asleep. You're just sitting there watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's there? Wouldn't it be weird if somebody was actually falling asleep at exactly the same time then? And they went, ah. <laughs> there is one thing I won't do though that I know he does, is have a handkerchief. You see a lot of older people with hankies. Isn't it disgusting? <laughs> They'll get this thing out their pocket. <laughs> I'll keep that. <laughs> you don't do it with toilet paper, do you? <laughs> Okay, folks, let's get this show started. You ruined the surprise. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a guy that I met many, many years ago when I first got into stand-up comedy. He uh, pretty much is known by one name. Vince. But we won't call him that tonight. We'll call him Vince Sorrenti, ladies and gentlemen. Vince Sorrenti. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! How do I look? Like oh, shit. Yeah. No, yeah you, you look like uh, something out of Toy Story. I'm old, mate. I don't... I've got to that stage where I don't give a shit what I look like anymore. Yeah, you know? I could tell that. Yeah. You've got kids, they even make fun of you, you know. Really? You, but your kids are like four. What are like, they? Yeah, that's old enough, you know. In the introduction, I called you Vince, right? Because everybody knows you as Vince, pretty much. Yeah. It's Vince. Yeah. Because I was, I was at dinner the other night, and we were introduced to these people at the table, right? And everybody went, hi, I'm John, I'm Peter. We got to one guy and he goes, hi, I'm Richard Harris. <laughs> Use both names. Richard just, Harris? Yeah. The Richard Harris? No. <laughs> Where are you going with this, mate? I just thought it was weird. For the whole night, he just kept going, I'm Richard Harris. I said, you're not. You're not. I know you are, but you're not. So stop telling him. So that's why it's nice. I don't have to say Vince Sorrenti every time you say Vince Sorrenti. I like to be known as Vince Sorrenti, mate. What do you think? Vince Sorrenti is better than just Vince is anyone. Mate. But Vince Sorrenti has a ring about it. <laughs> Sorrenti. <laughs> Can you do that? You look like a mafia dom with that gear on. Sorrenti. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> well, you should learn how to do that. Why should I learn how to do That's that? That's my name. Ah, Sorrenti. Say hello to my little friend. Uh, <laughs> which is an Italian, anyway. Is it? I know Scarface. he was Cuban, actually. Yeah. Scarface. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't know Where why I did that. Where the hell are we going? <laughs> you got to 
start this interview or what? What are I we doing? I thought you started it poking your head out. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> hey, when, uh, actually, I was thinking, because I was in a record store the other day and uh, saw an album of yours. Have you had an album out since vinyl? No. I'm available on vinyl and cassette. Yeah? <laughs> Actually, you might even get me on 8-track, you know, halfway through a joke, I stop and then you've got to rewind it and put it in and hear the rest of the joke. It, oh, no, yeah. I'm old school, mate. I'm ancient. But, uh, gee, hasn't my career blossomed? Look at this. There's a huge... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. Sitting in front of a huge audience. Are you on YouTube? Uh, I am on YouTube, actually. There's well, there some really go. embarrassing shit that someone recorded in the back of a car, but... What? And it's really old Hang on, what are you back of the car? No, not that kind of embarrassing. That's not embarrassing. That's got, yeah. that, that stuff is good, but... Yeah. Uh, that's not YouTube, that's that other one. I don't update it enough. What's that other one called? That other uh, site? You porn. How do you yeah. know it? <laughs> oh, I'm an expert on porn. What's that other one? Well, oh, look at them all going. Oh, Porn yeah. up. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang a girl on a said porn <laughs> That's good when a girl says porn hub. That's yeah, cool. That's yeah. I like that. Is it yeah. uh, just dot com? <laughs> What's the other one? Richie. Oh, they all know it. Come on. How many porn sites can we come up with? Here? Even the sound guy's got one. <laughs> He's on it now. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking before my time? No idea. Runs, everyone's time runs out. We haven't talked I'm, about anything. You're travelling. You're, you're, what are you What are you doing? I know you've got kids, but you know, yeah, really yeah. You don't want to talk about your kids. You've, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We want to talk about dying because people love to hearing about. People love hearing about when you die on stage. Oh, I thought you meant now, like you're dying. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, this is a scoop. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, people I, love to hear about yeah. when you. Like, they don't care like how good your show's going or how good your career is going. They want to hear about the time when you died on your ass at dog's death and were embarrassed and humiliated. That's what people really want to hear. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so tell us about it. Okay. Uh, oh, there's so many times, Darren. <laughs> One of the most embarrassing was during a Perth telethon uh, back in uh, back in the late eighties. In Perth, they used to fly comics in and entertain us from all over Australia. The Perth telethon. Well, they had to because it's Perth. It was Perth. There was no one yeah. there. Come to Perth. What yeah. for? Telethon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you go over there, and uh, it was all for charity, of course. And you had to do stand up on TV, and they kept changing the audiences all day. So I'm going on, and I'm working hard at the camera, and I thought I'm doing really good. I'm doing my best stuff, and not a sound out of the audience. Absolutely. Absolutely dying on my ass, and I walked off in a beads of sweat, and I go, oh, man, that was that was really hard. I was I was working so hard. People looked like they couldn't hear me. He said they couldn't. <laughs> it was a deaf audience. They put a whole people, group of deaf from a deaf school. They just bust them all. I'm a stand-up comedian. You put it in front of a deaf audience. Couldn't they uh, do the subtitles? Yeah. Well, back back worked. then they probably don't. You know, everything's got the text now, don't they? The, uh, but they couldn't do they it didn't back then. Did they? they didn't even have SPS. And the timing so would be off so too, wouldn't it? The time be off. By the time they read it, you'd be on to your next yeah. bit no. and then... <laughs> I know I'm visual, but it just didn't work. <laughs> um, That's happened to me though in a gig once. They put a, a deaf people in the front row. And the whole time, that they're the ones you see. Like, the whole audience is black, oh, you, but there's lights on the people that aren't laughing. You only stare at the people that Yeah, and you're going, what's going on, what's going on? And the end I, in the end, I did turn right. to them. I said, are you deaf or what? And they went, yes. I went, oh. <laughs> I've had an entire audience leave. I mean, I had a mate who came to visit me when I was working in the States. He said, oh, mate, I'm doing really good in the club, so you come and see me do a show in the club. He said, all right, so you come along to this show. And it was a packed house at Stand Up New York, which is the club that uh, Seinfeld performed at all the time. And, oh, uh, you're a name dropper. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> a bus pulls up outside, I swear to God, that my friends are sitting in the front row. About to see me come on. Guy, okay, we got a guy all the way from Australia. Please, please welcome Vince Sorrenti. And as soon as they said my name, the entire audience stood up, walked out, and got on this bus and left. And there was just my three friends from Australia. <laughs> oh, really? Now I'm really kicking ass in New York. People love me over here. I did an open mic in New York at four in the afternoon. <laughs> four in the afternoon. That's when open mic is. You've got to go all night. In the afternoon. You got When you're trying out, yeah. they put you on at times. That obviously, there aren't people mm. there, and the only other people in the audience are other comics, comics. who are waiting to go waiting on. Waiting on. Yeah. And they're not going to laugh at you. No, no way. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I went in there, and as I was on last, okay, put the RC on at the end. Everyone kept leaving. They do their bit, go, do their bit, go. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be great. So that I watched one person. 
I was there at the audience to one person on this, I went, I'll stay and watch you. And then they went, oh, well, I'll stay and watch you then. It is tough over there. Audiences are very unforgiving there. And, and there's the cultural barrier too. I mean, like sometimes they just don't know what you're talking about. And there's things that... Well, you, they look at you probably, Sorrenti, you're, you're going to come well, out like the Sopranos. Kind of, you know, well, that's yeah. right. I had that sort of Italian in. They thought I yeah. might have been a sort of Brooklynite or, a, yeah. you know, I was a, a, a crocodile Vinny or whatever the hell I was. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they they don't understand everything we say. Obviously, no. apart from the accent. Like, I used to do a routine about... Um, about a, a, an optical windscreen in the car. I said, oh yeah, I'm driving along, I've got a very thick optical prescription windscreen. Now, it's yeah. great for me, but everyone else in the car shits themselves. You know? yeah. People would say, well, uh, hey buddy, what's a windscreen? And you think, oh, you could be able to work that out. They yeah. call it, it's a windshield, but they still couldn't figure out that yeah. they don't make connections, yeah. Americans. They don't, yeah. uh, well, they don't watch a lot of Australian TV. <laughs> no. Yeah, we watch a lot of American TV, so we know now, what they're on about. Class of 74 was never big over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sons and daughters no. died. No. <laughs> Neighbours was bigger than the UK. Why didn't they get it in America? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was tough. And things that, yeah, like, words that we think are American, they don't understand. Like, we, like for example, big smoke. You think yeah. that's an American expression? Yeah. It's a very Aussie expression. So, oh, yeah. So I got into the big smoke. And go, What's a big smoke? You think you're talking about yeah. smoking a joint or something? They had no idea. Were you? Were you talking I about smoking, smoking a joint? joint? <laughs> Well, Vince, it's been a pleasure to have we you on We haven't talked here. about anything yet. I know. That, it's unreal, been gibbering. I know, but, it, but look, how, look how it goes, you know. It's, it's interesting. We found out a bit more about you, you know. That's, that's, what, that's all that this is about, man. It's been thrilling. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Vince Sorrenti for... <laughs>